I remember reading a piece by the IMF uh, mid last year which talked about the, uh, the limits of um, uh, monetary policy, particularly the BOJ's asset purchase uh, of uh, JGBs. I extended that in a piece I popped out last week and I think we're getting closer to, the, uh, uh, to, the, uh, to a limit of uh, QE in Japan. Uh, the lack of availability of JGBs on depository corporation balance sheets I think is going to be an issue that uh, will be presented by the, uh, the BOJ. Um, essentially, the uh, BOJ has bought uh, 223 trillion of securities off the financial system. They're hoarding the cash. So I think we see further NERP, and that is our uh, forecast. We're forecasting a further 10 basis points. But if I'm right, and the BOJ does admit that they have issues in terms of the asset purchases, I think that's dollar yen lower. That's certainly what we saw at the end of January when we had that surprise move. Yeah, you almost uh, preempted my next question, Rob. If the BOJ does engineer policy at steepening the yield curve this has already been almost second guessed uh, by the market and it seems to be in the dollar yen uh, level is it necessarily going to be particularly effective in getting the yen down further Look, I think it's almost the reverse. Uh, as we saw at the end of January and um, through the first quarter when the BOJ surprised with, uh, with NERP um, and no further asset purchases, to me the recent increase that we saw in terms of the ETF should have been delivered at the end of January. I think that would have offset some of the, um, uh, the, the, the negative impact. I think there's a risk that we see dollar yen down below 100 um, and if we're correct and the, uh, uh, the Fed does uh, uh, shift its forecast for uh, R star down by as much as 20 five basis points it's not out with the realms of possibility that we see dollar yen down towards sort of uh, 95 uh, 96 that sort of area